أنا شوف ما شوف أنت شوف أنت خمسة دي دي سنة ألو بس أنا أنت أتراهي أنا أسمع أحب أسمعه Arts 93.7 Hello, we are coming to you from the Dayton Visual Arts Center where we will be talking with Eva Buttercavoli about steam roller printing. Flat out fun. Do you know why we're sitting in front of these pieces? No. <laughs> Do you know how those were made? No. Do you know what they are? Flat Stanley? Flat Stanley. <laughs> They're prints. They were made with an industrial steamroller. Really? Yeah, yeah. That um, we uh, we borrow from Hauser Asphalt and Concrete. Ah. And they steamroll prints. On May 10th for Urban Nights, we're going to do another, our third annual steamroller event. So what it was? Was the official title of the event? Steamroller prints flat out fun. Third, third annual. Third annual. Yeah, the first time Dvac did it was um, on top of the Arts Garage. And then last year we did it um, uh, uh, across from the Neon, in the parking lot across from the Neon. This year we're going to do it with Stivers, hey, which is excellent. It's so good fit. The Stivers printmaking students, Wright State printmaking students, UD printmaking students, and OSU printmaking students and professors have all got a great big um, linoleum block that is the size of those works right there. Um, and also, You'll be able to, or anybody will be able to purchase a block and carve in it, and then we'll print that with a steamroller too. Could you elaborate a little bit on the printmaking process? Because I'm sure there are plenty of people watching that are like me and uh, don't have a clue. The simple way to explain the way that the printmaking is going to happen for the steamroller is characteristic of the way most prints are made. So there is a surface that is either carved or etched out, then it is inked so it can be rolled with ink or some sort of paint, then the paper is put on top of it, any kind of paper, and the steamroller rolls on the prints. And then the team lifts them. Okay, yeah, I'll let you wait. I'll let you do that. I'm an actor. I have okay. to act things out. And then uh, the team pulls up the prints, and the public can see how a print is made. Has okay. anyone ever used a sumo wrestler? I, I bet you somebody has used a sumo wrestler. Yeah. That's what that's I would want to use. Yeah. Yeah. You can come to DVAC and you can pick up a linoleum block that's 12 by 12 and carve your own print, and then you can show up on urban nights, and we will print your block right there. With and the steamroller? With the steamroller. You can come and pick up a block any time between now and May 10th. I can get one today. You, yeah, we're charging 10 bucks okay. for, for your block. You, okay. can, you can work on it all the way until Urban Nights. Wow. You can look at what other printmakers have done. We're going to have a printmaking sale. We're going to have a display. We're going to have a, a, a gathering of printmakers. There's a lot of printmakers in Dayton in this area. Thank you for joining us on this week's Arts 937. And thanks to Eva for hosting here at the Dayton Visual Arts Center. And be sure to come back and click back and see what we're up to. Because we're going to be doing stuff. Um, you know what I'm doing? Gonna cut that part out, right? <laughs> oh God, what's what's become of my life? Can 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 you just come and do all of these with me because I'm much more energized when I'm. Are you